Hello, I'm Alan Robson. In 1989, I was a professor of agricultural science here at the University of Western Australia. The internet was unheard of. Australian vice chancellors made a bold decision that would change the face of our research and education community forever to build a dedicated network connecting all universities and CSIRO. It was said at the time that such a facility was vital to our research. And what an understatement that turned out to be. Today, Arnett has travelled well beyond what we had ever imagined, becoming the fundamental tool for research and education, not just here in Australia, but on a global scale. But for Arnett, it's never been just about the network. It's about what can be achieved, about the outcomes, the experiences, no one can tell us this better than the research and education community themselves. An astronomer needs access to a telescope and an oceanographer needs access to a ship. I'm a climate scientist, so what I need access to is a petaflop computer, and a petabyte storage array for my data. Arnet provides me access to those facilities and capabilities wherever I happen to be in the world, and that's what enables me to do my research. Modern healthcare and education relies on the effective transfer of knowledge to where it's needed most. The development of advanced networks is transforming how we do business. We now have access we've never had before and we simply can't do without it. Networks are the heart of what we do in radio astronomy. Their capacity to support the torrent of data that comes from radio telescopes allows us to make new science discoveries. Our net has been at the core of these networks in Australia for the past 20 years. They will deliver the data to form the images that will revolutionise our view of the universe. The Large Hadron Collider will produce many petabytes of data per year. We, Australian High Energy Physics, need almost real-time access to that data. Arnet provides us with that access, breaking the tyranny of distance and allowing us to remain at the forefront of international science. High definition video conferencing is now so easy and of such high quality. It's as if participants from opposite sides of the globe are in the same room. Monash now has inspirational access to world class people. Canada and Australia are the world's two worst nations in terms of greenhouse gas emissions. So Canary, Canada's advanced internet development organization, is working very closely with RNET to explore how r &E networks can help reduce our collective carbon footprint. In our own small way, we hope this will make a small contribution to the world's greatest challenge, climate change. Our students have been to amazing places virtually that we could not have taken them to physically. We've been to Scott Base in Antarctica, we've been in classrooms in Hong Kong, we've looked through telescopes at the night sky of Dallas, Texas, and we've even travelled underwater to the Great Barrier Reef. It's taken them beyond the classroom and given them real experiences that have left a lasting impression. While the NBN is a great initiative and will make a difference to the lives of all Australians. We need to remind ourselves that Arnet has been providing broadband to the education and research sector at world's best practice level consistently for 20 years. In fact, Arnet is a national treasure and provides the essential infrastructure for the education revolution. Arnet was the first internet service provider in Australia and today it continues to provide high performance access to what we know as a familiar global phenomenon. The internet and the cloud of services that sit upon it support the core business of universities. As chair of Cordit, I can say that my members rely upon it. With RNAT, you have one of the most advanced national research and education networks. 
That means there's a platform of innovation to build upon. RNET, CSIRO, and the research universities are creating the new applications which over the years will make the investment in NBN ever more valuable for Australia. The Arnet story is a remarkable one, but the journey is far from over. Thanks to Arnet's innovation, we can all look forward to the next 20 years of outstanding outcomes that will keep us at the forefront of global education and research. On behalf of all shareholders, I congratulate Arnet on launching this account of such a wonderful story and can't wait to see what the next 20 years holds in store for us.